Hey everybody, how you doing? This is G Love Koi from Colossal Koi. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Merry Christmas, you know, uh, me and the girls, man, we had a great time doing it, bringing the year out and bringing the new year in. I just want to thank all my people out there overseas for just really showing me mad love. You know, Twisted, without a doubt, my main man, Wayside Koi, John and Jill over there, man. I just love your channel. I watch every episode. Koi Wholesale, oh, they up back there jumping. The girls excited too to see everybody again. Lee Hatfield, Darby Koi, Cat and I Koi, Budget Pond Keeping, Leon over there, man. I love what you're doing over there. Jolly Koi, you know, my girl Lou, French Koi Connection, Jigs over there, Mountain View Koi, Gas Koi Ponds, A and D Koi, and Keeping It Koi. I just appreciate you guys, man, for really taking the time to stop by my channel. It really encourages me to keep going and to keep doing this and sharing. I just appreciate everybody. So definitely people asked about the uh, shear rolls a lot. So today my goal was to kind of show you the, the fry koi and then maybe on a part two, we'll do the female koi because I got five shear rolls back there. I don't know if you can see a few of them back there that I'll probably bowl those guys and we'll take an in-depth look at those guys. So I just appreciate everybody. And I'm G Love Koi from Colossal Koi. Okay, well my goal is, is I'm gonna take them out of the, the holding tub and I'll put them into this net that I DIY. I'll get, get you into this soon too, how I did this situation. But I'm gonna put them in here, then that'll be easy for me to bowl each one of them. We got a hundred, a hundred and one. Fry, koi fry in here, shiro, so we gotta go through them. And I'll try to film the best way I can. Wow, they're bigger than I thought once you get them up out of the water. They're way bigger than you think they are. Or they have grown some. I can get them all into this holding net. Yeah, they way bigger than I thought they were. Once you get them up. Boy. Okay, everybody, we got everybody in. So I got everybody in this, in this holding net, which I DIY from a, um, a skimmer net. And uh, we got them in there. I figured I would do it this way because then that way I can keep them in the same water. And you know, this water's oxygenated. So that way they'll, they'll stay safe because I don't know how long this will take me to do. So yep, let me get the bowl and we'll begin. Okay, let's get the first one in the bowl. This is pretty nice. I don't know what you call this, a tancho. It's not a tancho marking, but it has Benny on it. Nice, sumi. And then the pecs, the monoguro is starting to come in the pecs. A long way to go with these koi. But they look awesome in the bowl though, I think. So.
hopefully you're getting a good look at them. I don't want to jump yet. So that's one. Then we'll put them back in there. Kind of just walk it on and walk it on. And the sumi is just starting to come in a lot of them. You see a lot of the feather sumi under the skin as well, under the shiroji. Starting to come, indicating just maybe what may happen. Give you a look at each one of them a little bit. Looks like they're eating like a pig. And I don't think this is going to be a very long koi, but it's very wide. I think that's like a defect I was looking at. One Koi channel, he talked about how when it's real thick there. But, you know, I'll keep them all and see how they turn out and start to weed them down until I get the ones I really, really want. Hoping I got good light so you can really see them. Nice. I see a lot of sumi under the shiroji. Seems like, as far as my synopsis of watching these fish, they seem to develop sumi on the body first, then you get sumi on the face. These fish come from shiros, black and white fish, but you still got a little bit of Benny in some of them. I think that's because they originated from um, from Shoa in the line somewhere. And the parent koi are Omasako parents. So, and a lot of times the Benny will fade, so I don't just eliminate them just because a little bit of Benny is there. I kind of see, because as you see, this fish is stunning. Thick sumi, so I won't let the Benny throw me off. And good body shape on this one as well. Trying to jump. You know, even here, nice sumi coming under the shiroji. Feather sumi. I'm 
these are the type that I like. I like the ones that the sumi is really light in the beginning because I think you get a lot more mileage out of the fish as it develops slow. Long body frame. All the sumi is under. You get peaks of sumi peeking through. These are the type that I prefer. Nice X. Really nice body line. We got so many to go through, so I'm gonna kind of keep it moving here. One of my males is Ginrin, one of the males is Ginrin, so kind of can see a little bit of Ginrin coming up on the scales here. So we'll see if we get some Ginrins out of it here. But you can see with this one, you can see a little bit of Sumi on the, on the head. This is one I've been looking at a lot as well. Ginrin in some of the scales, so I don't know what'll happen, but these are the kind I really like. The real light sumi showing through.
nice. Got Sumi on the head for me. Really good. You can see a lot of the Sumi under the skin as well. I'm hoping we get any good, good shots of them from the viewfinder. A little bit of Benny too on the head. I don't know how long this video will be, but I'm just trying to give you an in-depth look. And so many people was really curious about these Shiro, these Shiro series. I really wanted to just do it this way and give you guys a good look at everything. I know after a while they probably kind of start to look the same. I don't know, but true Koi enthusiasts really, I think, enjoy this. This one has a little bit of Benny. I'm sorry, a little bit of Benny on the body, but there there is Sumi on the tip of the nose, which is good. And they also say you can look in the mouth of the fish if you see some Sumi in the mouth. There's an indication that you'll have really good Sumi on the fish as well. A little bit of Assuming it's coming in the text as well on this one. To be fair with this one, I assume it isn't as glossy on this one as some of the other ones. So we'll see what that turns out to be. lights on me but it's coming through got getting rid on the scales as well on this one as well as you can see I don't know if you can see it or not but it's like quite a bit of glittery scales A 
and you know how Shiro's do when they kind of stressed out they go pinkish but these are still looking good they're not pinking up on us yet maybe because I'm keeping them in this water This one's real calm. Nice long body on this one. I prefer these kind as well. Really good long body. I'm hoping I got the camera close enough for you to really see them. Some of these are just absolutely stunning to me. I don't know about you, but just to, to watch these guys develop. I mean, it's many, many years to go on these fish, but just watching them come along. And they're actually a black fish when they're first born. They turn black. They born a, a transparent color, then they turn black. And then all of a sudden they turn white. And then you see the black start to creep back in, pattern-wise. And Twisted Man, this is for you. And boy, I wish I could just ship a few of these to you, man. A dozen of these guys to you. Because you definitely have inspired me to keep this channel going. And I appreciate you. And this is one I've been looking at a lot. I like the Sumi pattern. People love the checker type pattern. With a checkerboard. I like this one a lot. I've been watching this one develop. Nice body line on this one. Nice and thick all the way through. So it's developing slowly like I like. Not too much too soon. These are definitely tight that I really like. Nice body line. And a nice, nice, real nice body line.
got a bit of Benny as well. Probably this one's gonna be heavy. To be a lot of summer. It's got an inner zoomer, like pattern and lightness right on top, which is interesting. This one has like a pinkish head. So I don't know if that's just the, um, if that'll fade or not. And if you think so, if red will come up, please give me your idea in the comments. I know this is gonna be a heavy Sumi fish. A lot of Sumi's gonna be on this fish. See a few generous scales as well. Definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button because we got a lot of good things coming the new year. You guys have definitely motivated me to get as much content out as I can, at least quality content if I can. I hope the viewfinder is capturing these things because they're absolutely gorgeous. So we got specs of Sumi, which I said this is the kind I like for some reason. It'll be nice to see how this one develops. And then maybe um, come summer, we'll take footage again and compare it with this footage. Or after the summer, when I take them out. When I take them out of grow on ponds outside, we'll compare. I like the body shape of this fish. I like how the Sumi is developing. It's not speckled everywhere, it's like it's in sections. This is another one I've been looking at a lot, but I don't know. Oops. Oh, my light moved a little bit. There we go. Hopefully, um, oh, 
hopefully I'm capturing everything right. But it's got that thick body in the middle again, so I don't know if that's the deformity or what, but I find my eye going at this one a lot when it's in the um in the tank. It's that sumi on the shoulder. Just the ideal body shape or not. body shape I like. Oh, this one's kind of big. Oh yeah, this is definitely one I've been watching with the Zuma Sumi pattern. body line. There's a tantil, small line, look like a little heart or something on the head, little red heart.
almost look like Sankey. Thank you.